Cat C, don't get dropped, baby. That's the plan. Ah! Oh, so annoying! Okay, hi, and welcome to this week's video, or today's video. I'm gonna be racing in a short crit race. I'm gonna race Downtown Dolphin. It's one of my favorite courses. It's just a quick one. Cat C, I've got no other reason to be racing this other than A, because I need to get my fitness in for today, and I don't have a lot of time, so it's gonna be a short crit race. Um, the actual distance, so it's only seven laps of Downtown Dolphin, which is just over 13K. My aim, is to try and stick with the C's. So my new challenge for the next however long foreseeable is to become powerful enough, fit enough, light enough to be able to stick with the C's across the finish line. I can then work on the sprint and winning a race further down the line. But my priority at the moment is don't get dropped. That's it. It feels like a throwback to the early days of being in Cat D. Okay, here we go guys. Five, four, three, two, one. So as I leave the start line, someone shoots straight off past me. Oh, there's someone sprinting off. As expected in a Catsy race, this is something which, you know, I'm having to get used to. Just, just crazy starts off the start line. So my aim for this race is nothing more than just sticking with whatever lead pack forms at this point in the race. Now, obviously, this is a very, very, very short crit race. It being only 14k in length, we're on lap one of seven, obviously, we're still in the lead in. My only priority is just to stick with this front pack. Now, I know that there is a bit of a punchy climb. Now, I want to say climb, um, it's more than a hill, it's more than a bump. However, uh, it's not very long. So if I punch up it, I've got a hopeful chance of sticking with the lead pack. Okay, cadence. Cadence is king. Now I've just mentioned there about cadence. Another thing that I've been working on recently, and I've recently filmed a video of me climbing Alp to Zwift that's currently on my Patreon page. The entire point of climbing Alp to Zwift yesterday, which I did it at point of editing this video, was to work on my cadence and my RPM. Okay, we're coming up. <coughs> Around the next corner is the start of the climb. And I'm already feeling it we're not even through the first lap yet jesus christ cat is tough man so this was the first time climbing this punchy climb i mentioned it already and my uh, my aim of this 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 point in the race was just to see how everyone else climbed it to see what the action was now obviously cat is going to be a lot faster than cat d and we're climbing this hill this bump this climb whatever you want to call it we're doing it in excess of 30 kilometers per hour. Now, I'm used to doing 30 kilometers an hour in Cat D on the flats or even on the descents. To be doing that up a punchy climb is mental. So I've had to burn all my matches to stick with this lead pack on that climb. That was the whole point of this race, just to stick with this lead pack. I'm gonna say that several times in this race. Now, these rollers are good for me. I've mentioned it in previous videos because my heavier weight helps me into the rollers. If I can sustain quite a fast pace as I hit the roller, coming out of it the other side, it gives me a bit of a, a boost in power. It's kind of like a, a slingshot effect, which allows me to get to the front of this pack, which means I can then slow down, increase my cadence, put my fan on, and I'm able to recover some of my expended heart rate. At this point in the race, I'm feeling relatively good. I'm gonna fast forward to the next section. Now this is the second time climbing this punchy climb. And again, I'm putting a little bit more in now because I obviously realized last time that the lead pack was quite powerful going up it. They were quite fast. You know, we've gone up that climb in closer to 35 kilometers an hour this time. So some of the leaders in this group have put, put their foot on the gas. They're a lot lighter than me. And they're averaging, you know, ridiculous watts per kg going up this climb. So I'm trying just to stick on the back of this group. I'm using my drafting boost and I'm saving them. I always save my power-ups on Downtown Dolphin for the top of the climb. This part of the climb now where I'm able to gain um, some recovery time before we hit the rollers. And that's all I'm doing now. So I'm using these rollers now just to put in a burst, just to put a dig in, having now used my power-up just to try and get back onto this front group, which I do actually manage to do which I'm really proud of. I've managed to use these rollers to my advantage and I'm able to latch back on. Luckily for me, using this 
kind of lead out of strung out riders from the from the front group that's now formed i'm able to use their draft and you know so as the elastic doesn't snap and i'm able to get back on if there wasn't that strung out group of riders i probably wouldn't have caught back on i'm back in the group and as we start the third lap i'm now with the newly formed front group ah so not a lot happens now between now and the climb. So I'm just going to fast forward. Now, luckily for me, I managed to gain a feather when going through the banner over the start finish line. So I'm now able to use that feather, but really annoyingly, and this is where something fundamentally goes wrong. Even with the feather, my gears are now stuck. So if you look at my fingers, my right hand, left of your screen, you will see that I'm trying furiously to get those gears to change and they're not changing. And then by the time they do change at the top of the climb, I'm dropped and I am royally, royally annoyed. Ah! Ah! Oh, so annoying! No, I don't actually know what's happened here. The bike disconnects occasionally from Zwift or Zwift disconnects from my bike. My bike stays connected, so as I'm turning my legs, my watts are still being generated. My heart rate monitor's working. My Zwift controllers are still working. So there's no issue with connectivity. Just for some strange reason, my gears will not change. Now, obviously, I have um, virtual shifting on my watt bike. I have Googled it over and over and over. And, and in almost all search results, it says that it's an issue with Zwift as opposed to my watt bike or any of my equipment. Now, I've had some tips about changing some of the Bluetooth connections or reducing the amount of things connected to my computer, but it used to happen with my Apple connection as well when I used it on Apple TV. I've now got it connected to my uh, Mac, my Power Mac. I've got a, a, a desktop Mac, and it's still doing the same thing. So I'm starting to think it's the Zwift application or Zwift software. I've done updates, firmware updates, nothing's fixed it. I don't know what causes it. It happens, it doesn't happen in every race, it probably happens once every five or six races. Oh, that's a guess, um, but it is really annoying. Long story short, technology let me down, not my fitness. So yeah, any ideas, drop me a comment. But yeah, if you're not sure, then I won't waffle on about it. So now at this point in the race, I've been completely dropped from the lead pack. So my aim now was to allow the two riders behind me to latch onto me and keep up with them or me latch onto their draft use them and then create a race between the three of us. That was now my aim. I then speed up the climb with them, catch onto their draft, use my drafting boost and we latch on. So I'm gonna fast forward the next few laps. All we do between now and the last lap is stay as a group. Last lap, last lap baby. I'm trying my best not to go out front. So as I draft off of the other two, especially the one in orange who seems to be the stronger of the Give two. Me a feather. Oh, come on. And then as we get to the last lap, we cross the banner, we power through the flat. Nothing major happened, but, and this was a bit of a giveaway here, the guy in orange, as we approach the last corner before the climb, before the punchy climb, he drops his feather power up. Now, this was a giveaway for me because that is an early use of this power up. He's not quiet at the climb. We're still on the flats. So I know that he's going to power into this. I know that he's now building up his watts in preparation to sprint up this climb. So I start thinking about doing the same. Now, I don't want to do it before he does, but as you can see now, he's gone. So I do the same. I try and keep with him. I know that if he gets to the top of this climb with a one or two second gap on me, then I'm done. He's already now got a one second gap on me. He's, he's almost gone. And I try and drop in excess of 500 watts to get to the top. I don't ease off. I keep doing it on the flat, through the banner, get myself a new PR up the climb. I've done this call several times now and you know it's great to get a new PR up that climb and I managed to latch back on. He wasn't able to drop me. So that now means I've burned all of my sprinting matches to stick with him. We then hit the last corner. I then try and see if I can beat him on the inside line. Try and put a sprint in. I haven't got a sprint. He drops red numbers. <sighs> 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 oh! 
Oh. Unbelievable. I, that's something I haven't got. I definitely, definitely want to add to my bucket list goal for the rest of this year to be able to get red numbers in a sprint, which I just currently do not have. So I just want to quickly add, so the riders that came in top five in this race all averaged in excess of three watts per kg. And there's obviously my 2.5 that I am averaging with 226 watts, raw, raw watts being used across the entire race. I mean, it's just not enough. I need to get closer to 270 watts average, which you know I need to work on, but I definitely need to lose more weight. Hi, hi. Okay, I really don't know why my gears drop out. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't mind getting dropped if I'm rubbish. But what I don't want to do is get dropped because I can't change gear. That's really annoying. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.